10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we have ignition start. We have liftoff of an ILS proton rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan with the Yamal 402 satellite on board. It can be a little difficult to see, especially with the overcast, but at about 10 seconds after liftoff, the rocket does a rollover maneuver and will soon experience maximum dynamic pressure, also known as max Q, and is the maximum aerodynamic load on the vehicle. For Proton, it corresponds to about Mach 1.6 and occurs at 1 minute, 2 seconds after liftoff. And that low cloud cover, we can't see all that happening right now, but I assure you it's going on. Everything seems to be proceeding nominally as the vehicle heads across the Cosmodrome vertically in a northeasterly direction with a flight launch azimuth of approximately 61.3 degrees. We're coming up on the first stage's separation from the second stage that is set to occur at two minutes into the flight. We could watch for the halo effect, but unfortunately we can't see it. But as the second stage engines ignite prior to the separation from the first stage, it would happen. And we're going to wait on confirmation of a separation between those stages. Right now you can still hear the rumble of that rocket heading down range. It's amazing uh, what you can see in a clear night. It looks like a shooting star heading away from you. And when you have that max Q and you see the shockwave move down the rocket itself, it's really an amazing sight to see.